So Sean Benaya leading out the Giants, taking that bound. Six foot five inch, 245 pound left hander. That's light off the leg of Manaya. He'll chase it down. Nemo will have an infield hit, and now we'll see how Manaya is after taking that shot off his leg. Grimacing somewhat, but walking fairly normally as he heads back toward the mound. Canna on the ground. Manaya, that's one. And a pair. Nice spear. I mean, good thing he's 6'5. He made that play easy. Now a swinging strike. A 95 mile an hour sinker running away from Lindor. On the hill tonight for the New York Mets will be the right hander, Kodai Singa, 2 0 with a 3 3 8 ERA. One out and one on, and now Michael Conforto. The former Met taking an at bat against his former team for the first time. And there's a good split by Sanga to strike him out. I'll tell you what, it's so good it can make you look silly. And that thing, there's very little rotation on it. It's really a fork ball. He calls it the ghost pitch. And JD Davis stays hot as he wraps the first pitch into center field. That's got to feel good. Davis, like Conforto, playing against the Mets. 3 2 coming. And he yanks it on the ground down to first, and Alonzo will take it himself, and that retires the side. So here's Tommy Pham, who's got a great history of success against Manaya. And Pham lines another one off Manaya. He chases this one down. Low throw dug out nicely by Wilmer Flores, and they get the out. Oh. But Sean Manaya playing the role of pincushion. Second one that has struck him. This time he's able to retire the batter. Alonzo winds up on second. I know one thing. At the end of this game, Sean Manaya is going to lead the league in ice bags. And Jeff watches ball four. So Manaya, after getting ahead two strikes, loses McNeil to a walk, and the Mets have two men on. On the ground up to middle Crawford dives he's got it that's one and it's not in time amazing that they came that close to getting a double play Crawford made the headlong dive fully extended to his left Alonzo goes to third and with runners at first and third two down and there is a swinging strike three slider breaking down and away perfectly thrown for the strikeout his second of the game and he finally gets Guillaume Moore struck out his first time up Alonzo and Pham to follow. Lindor is hit by the pitch the fourth time this year he's been hit but that puts a base runner on for a very dangerous guy Pete Alonzo came into the day hitting 321 against Southpaws Pete drives one deep left field back goes Wade near the wall and it's out of here Pete Alonzo with a line drive two run homer number nine for Alonzo to put the Mets up to nothing and Pete continues to mash he moves up a spot on the Mets all time list alone in fifth place passing by Dave Kingman oh. and now McNeil is drilled in the back off speed pitch from Anaya second battery hit in the inning so McNeil leads off first and here is Eduardo Escobar. And Escobar hits one down the line back toward the corner. Wade goes over near the foul pole and it's out of here. Eduardo Escobar with a two run homer. A towering shot that stayed fair down the left field line. Alonzo and Escobar with two run homers here in the fourth and it's four nothing New York. And Guillaume takes a walk. So the fifth base runner of the inning for New York. And we'll see what Gabe Kapler wants to do. He's kind of pacing in that Giants dugout. Maybe he gives Manaya one more hitter. Nimmo lines win the other way down the left field line. That's a fair ball bouncing into the corner. Guillaume racing for third. Wade tries to dig it out. Guillaume being waved home, and the throw will not be made as it's bobbled by Crawford. It's an RBI double for Brandon Nimmo, and the Mets have hung a five spot on Sean Manaya in the fourth. It's 5 0 New York. And that's going to be all for Sean Manaya. And here's Tristan Beck. So tonight he gets his debut out of the pit. 0 oh, 1 pitch. That one is hit to center field. Going back on the ball wisely. Squares up and comes in a few steps makes the catch so Tristan Beck first hitter that he faces in his big league career he retires four scoreless innings under his belt for Kodai Senga here's Blake Sable struck well into center field Nemo back looking up out of here Giants are on the board home run number three for Blake Sable now two of his three home runs have gone out to center field and that's always been the field that defines pure strength Giants trailing five to one Wade has walked and popped up to short and Wade goes the other way. Hits it well. It is out of here. And it's getting close to being a ball game, folks. And Wade has his second home run of the season. It's 5 to 2, Mets. So back to back walks issued by Senga, and that'll bring the tying run to bat. Got at second, Conforto at first with two out. And he nubs this one into center field. Here comes Estrada. He's going to score. And it's now 5-3. Right off the end of the bat. And he was going up there looking for an off-speed pitch. Got it. Capitalized on it. 
and it gets away. And now a late break, and not in time! Michael Conforto, who's been asked not to run hard, had to run hard after he started to go back to third. The Giants have cut it to 5-4 on the dirt ball. McNeil, Escobar, and Guillaume as the Mets try and get the offense re-geared. And McNeil unloads one deep down the right field line. Gone if it stays fair. That ball is out of here. Jeff McNeil with his first home run of the season. And the Mets with their third home run tonight now have a 6-4 to four lead. So the Mets with a runner in scoring position for Francisco Lindor. And he breaks his bat, bloops one to the shallow right center, and that's going to fall for a hit. Canna had to hold up. He'll stop. Lindor running to an unoccupied second base, and he makes it safely. And there was nobody covering second, so Lindor took the extra base. Double for Lindor puts runners to second and third for Alonzo. Ground ball toward the middle. Pass Crawford into center field. Base hit. Canna is in. Lindor to third. He's being waved around. The throw to the plate is not in time. And down to second base goes Alonzo. Pete drives in his third and fourth runs of the night. And the Mets lead it eight to four in the seventh. And Daniel gets a curve ball outside for ball four. Here's McNeil with two on and nobody out. And he gets curve ball and shoots it the other way for a base hit. Alonzo being waved around third. He'll come in to score. McNeil drives in his second run of the night and it's 9-4 to four New York. So the Mets, who saw a 5 nothing lead, shrink to 5-4. Have re-established a five-run lead. McNeil on base for the fourth time tonight. Two hits and two RBIs, and the Mets up 9-4. Gets a breaking ball in the outside corner. Goes right with it. Outstanding hitting. Two and two the count. Alonzo on the bag at first, holding against Yastrzemski. The runner there. Slow ground ball. Guillaume with the flip to Lindor. The spin around, and he got him for the double play. Beautifully turned. Guillaume and Lindor, 4-6-3 to end the inning. So the Giants are down to their final out of the night. And Wade hits the slider out to left. On comes Canna, and the ball game is over. Brigham works a 1-2-3 ninth. Make it a 6-1 and one start to this West Coast trip. The next victim, the San Francisco Giants.